Welcome to Chicago. Welcome to our conference for men having babies. The organizational mission is really to educate and inform people on how to navigate this very complex and expensive process. And it's also designed to enable people to make it more affordable. And we're going to share with you from the perspective of dads, surrogates, providers, and other supporters of our organization are things that we've all learned over the years from, from our own experiences. So we're going to start with general stuff, then we're going to dive into specific stuff, then we're going to talk about the feelings, the ethics, the emotions behind surrogacy. We had the need at Men Having Babies to really understand the budgeting and the costs associated with surrogacy. And the reason is that we have our assistance program where we have about 20 couples a year. We're basically partnering with them. I think this conference is good for anyone at any stage because we're able to provide information about all aspects of fertility in the LGBT community, which does involve egg donation, gestational surrogacy, fertility centers. So to get sort of a breadth of different experiences, it's always good to, to attend. We were at the grocery store for Valentine's Day and my oldest picks out a flower for Sherman. And a woman comes up to us and she's like, Oh, well, is that flower for your mommy? And he's like, no, it's for my papa. And she's like, no, you mean your mommy? And he's like, no, I have a papa. We decided beforehand that they wanted to know any, everything, and they were included in everything from the transfer to the birth. Um, they were in there catching babies, um, <laughs> literally. There's a community of dads out there that are going to be just like you and can talk to you about raising a child, providing peer-to-peer -peer network and support in terms of what do you do with a baby and feeding and schools and daycare. So the community just continues to get bigger and bigger as there's more dads that have pursued this path. I'm a 45-year-old single dad. Um, this is my son August. He is almost three. <laughs> We talk a lot about long term, the kids are always going to wonder where they came from and so um, we thought it was actually really uh, good for them at, to like understand from the start. Um, this is how you came into the world and you had helpers and you, we had a, a surrogate helper, we had an egg donor helper. Please, please, please remember if you take nothing else away from this conference is to think about what your family looks like when it's complete and not act impulsively because you know I met a doctor or I, I saw a donor and that's just it so I'm gonna jump at it but really sitting back reflecting on it talking to the people who are in your corner and making it happen so you think this is your story right now but really one day it will belong to your children <laughs>